Want a cool vintage echo sound with dirt, grit, spring reverb, and cool tape effects? Then Tape Echoes is for you. From guitar effects to rhythmic snares to spacey synths and vocal trails, your tracks will have a new sonic character. And genres ranging from dub to EDM to hip hop and pop will all have a home for the great processing Tape Echoes offers. To start, let's explore how adding drive and dirt gets us some vintage mojo and color on our drums. Since Tape Echoes is being used as a send, we're going to turn our wet dry knob all the way up to wet. We can switch from a nice rhythmic 16th note to a 32nd note flam type sound. We could even take the slider all the way to the left so we just hear the dirt. Now let's use the high cut filter to remove some of the harsh buildup in the high frequencies. And all of this can be automated within your DAW. Let's put tape echoes directly on our saxophone track as an insert, and we'll set the wet dry knob somewhere in the middle. For this example, I'm going to bring the dirt all the way counterclockwise to keep the delay line as clean as possible for the sax, but I'm still going to use the drive to add some character. The reverb is a spring reverb typically found in many analog tape delays. Now if we switch over to imaging, the reverb can be placed in parallel or before the delay line to get different sounds. As amazing as the reverb already sounds on this track, let's set our delay time to eighth note triplets. And let's use the low cut to help filter out the low end so it doesn't get muddy. Now that sounds great, but it's really busy. So try turning the echoes on and off to simulate a manual throw that's common in dub genres. You can automate this button during breaks or to build up intensity. Now listen as we process our keyboard and mallet instruments. Once again, Tape Echoes is placed on Ascend, so we're going to set it all the way wet. We'll add a little low cut, and we could select to have our echo lean toward the left or lean toward the right. Our stereo imaging also allows us to select between dual stereo and normal stereo. Normal stereo is what you get if you had a single stereo tape machine. Dual stereo is like having two mono tape machines where the wow and flutter and dropouts are decoupled. This can give a really nice stereo depth to the audio. And bringing up the dirt makes everything sound a little less stable and unpredictable. You can even get spacey and crazy with your application of tape echoes, and nothing's better to demo this than a flexitone.
The delay time fader sets the timing of the first tap and the other two tape heads follow. It behaves exactly like an analog delay where changing the time is seamless and also changes pitch. Tape glitch is exactly what it says it is. It's an effect that mimics sudden starts and stops of the tape machine. And this can be programmed in the DAW to create very creative tape effects. And the amazing sound of tape echoes also runs in amp room, allowing you to simulate tape effects that have defined the sound of many top hits. And for those of you using modular, you can craft the perfect patch with a dirty analog style tape delay to take your synths even further. Tape echoes is exactly what you would want from a tape echo effect. An authentic analog tape echo with modern flexibility that can be driven to sound distorted, gritty, glitchy, and wobbly to produce your extreme tape echo effects with a lot of vintage mojo.